we just got two brand new hyper cars. And I've already gone into one of those brand new hyper cars on a little known series on this channel. And um, I think it's time we also go through the next hyper car, which is Zenvo on the series. Which is. Bad. What's going on? My name is Sid. And welcome back to A Build A Day, the series on the channel where I take... Oh, and I have hiccups. Oh, this is going to be unpleasant. Where I take any and every car I cap... Oh, God. Oh, jeez. Just... Oh, look at them. Spoiler. <laughs> I take them into the game and then I rank them on the pedometer, where each car is ranked on... How... It looks how good it is, how much I enjoy driving it, how many hiccups I had <laughs> that episode. The Zenvo, honestly, I am so pleasantly surprised that we got this thing. And I'm really, really looking forward to going into it. Clean, clean turn there, clean turn there. This is the kind of car I'm looking for. And look at the spoiler. <laughs> The fact that the spoiler actually does move like that is just such a bit of fun. I love it. This is great. Look at that. Uh, okay, screw it. I'm recording this video later. Okay, I am back after the, uh, well, this is the next day. The hiccups did not want to wear off. I'm there struggling. But now we're finally back on the Zenvo T or TSO. Well, whatever you call this thing. I don't know. Some people say they prefer the Zenvo ST1, something like that. I didn't know they made a Zenvo in Street Tier 1. Am I right? Okay, no. no I didn't think that one was very good either. I think it was actually pretty bad. Let's go into customizing this thing. Because we've looked at it for a hot minute now. So let's see what we can actually do to this car. We straight away, we have liveries, we have vanities, hopefully. Can we change the color? It's a good start. Oh, it's two-tone. Okay, where's the where's the second tone? There? Oh, I guess it is. Yeah, okay, so... Oh, nice. That's a... That's a pole star is what that is. That's yellow and red is all right. The blue's fine. The two-tone there is a bit more useless because it's just, you know, the, yeah, it doesn't make much sense. A brown and black two-tone, sure. And a, and a lime green. That's quite the collection of colors. I'm going to go... Do I want to go red again? Because I went red on my on my other video as well. So, oh, we have customization. Oh, oh, nice. Okay, oh, extra vent. Okay. I These look to me so far like just official customizations, right? Like the way the Lamborghini Ravuelto is. You know, you can't add different customizations to the Ravuelto. You can just add other customizations that are officially on the Ravuelto. I like those lights because I just, I, you know, less carbon fiber is always better. Oh, that's quite nice. That's that's quite nice. Very nice. Okay, that's cool. Nah. Okay, these haven't been as exciting as the the Utopia, I must say. But you know what? Those are those are pretty good. Those are pretty good. I'm probably gonna go with one of these. There you go. Can we wide body it? It looks like we can wide body it. Okay, a wide body on the Zenvo is wild. <laughs> I guess I'll go with this one because it has the extra bit there. But that. You'd think would go on the oh lovely. You'd think that would go on the um, on the skirt. There's there is way too much red on that. I hope the pinstripe is part of the color scheme so I can change that. This is just carbon fiber. Sure. Look, I don't like carbon fiber, but there's already so much on this. Oh, oh, now I don't know. I love the like Zenvo imprint, but then this kind of matches the other thing. You know. Let's, I mean, obviously, we're going to have to go with the wide body. What's the difference? Okay, see, that you think would be on the rear bumper. Rear wing. Okay, so... Oh, nice. Oh, nice. Oh, and no rear wing. You can get rid of the... I guess that's the Zenvo ST1 version. Instead, I, I think I'm going to keep the wing. I kind of have to, right? For the, for the sake of, right? But let's look at the back here. Oh, we got quad exhaust. Uh, wider big exhaust. More quad exhaust options. Quad exhaust. What's the difference? What's the? Oh, the lights are dim. Okay, these are the, the 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 dim lights. I guess I'm gonna go quad, but center. Yeah, you know what? Nice. Now let me check. Ah, yes. Okay, so these are secondary color pieces. I like that. I do like that. Ooh, yeah. Like, look at that. I like it. I like that. That's attached to that. I'll go with blue. Why not? I mean, we're forgetting about the secondary color, but I'm just gonna go with blue. I don't like the rims, but like, look, they're 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 forged carbon fiber or whatever it is. Like, I can't not like it. Oh, 
green. Oh, is that to make Shmi Zenvo? We know we're getting Shmi Zenvo later on. Oh, I don't know if I've talked about that yet. But yeah, they accidentally leaked the Zenvo uh, not too long ago now. They released it in an image. Now, someone was questioning why I call it leaked when it's, it's Ivory Tower showing it. It's because if it's immediately deleted, if they post it, and then I post about it, and then after I post about it, they immediately delete and backtrack, right? Then obviously, I'm gonna consider it leaked. Because there was one, that time when they had the the DB5, right? In an, in an image as a reward for a, a playlist. And then they deleted that and changed for MX5. And surprise, surprise, DB5 then came out the next update. And they didn't acknowledge it until it came out in that next update. That's why. That's why I consider it leaked when something like that happens. I'm not just chatting out my rear end calling anything and everything leaked. This is quite nice. This is, this is, this is rather nice. I don't know what they're doing on the back wing here, though. I'm gonna go with that. Why not? And you know what? Screw the little TRS Zenvo stuff. I'm gonna have the Zenvo imprint is what I'm gonna do. There we go. Much nicer. Much nicer. Let's also put some parts on this thing. I assume my parts from before will be on the Pagani Utopia. Yes, they are. There we go. And this is the Zenvo TRS. Oh, I forgot to put nitros on it. I, did I do that twice? Have I forgotten to put vanities on it twice? No, it was liveries that I forgot to do last time. Oh, God. Well, that's not a good start at all. <laughs> and I guess I'm going to go with these tires. They're slicks, but they're like almost the right yellow to match with the, the, the sort of secondary color that I've put on via the livery. I'm not going to go with any smokes. I don't like going with smokes. Oh, it's a limited nitro selection. That's weird. Are these all just motor vest nitros? I think they are, right? Yeah, these are all just motor vest only nitros. Okay, weird specific to do, but you know, whatever, whatever you say. I guess I'm going to go with Firebird. Underglow, none. Window tint, we'll black it out. And then engine sound, I will put on the Hoonit up kit. Why not? Now this, the Zenvo TRS. Absolutely lovely. And we have some speed. Oh God, with speed. <laughs> It comes a lot of the rear wing flippity flop into the side. <laughs> I wonder what this would be like in wheel mode. Hang on. Direct mode on. Okay. And now. Oh, it doesn't drive. The wing is crazy as I thought it would. <laughs> Damn it. Come on. Come on. No, they've got like a buffer on it. They've got like a buffer on the wing. So it doesn't immediately just full left and right, even though the tires are full left and right. And, oh, God. Almost put a Zenvo in a, in, a, in a river there. Let's turn off direct mode before I do something drastic. Here we go. I will say the blue is very nice, as well as the, uh, the yellow accents on the blue. The wheels work. I'm not sure about the rim still, but my the biggest bit of fun is that rear wing. The rear wing, I want to send it around a turn. So I, I can't believe some people don't like that rear wing. This rear wing is a bunch of fun. And this thing looks aggressive from the front as well. Oh, nice one. Hamehameha. That's, that's what you get. Here we go. Breaking and turning with the rear wing looks like this. I love it. I love it. Jim Connor? What have I got a Jim Connor meter on for? <laughs> I guess we're using our Jim Connor meter. There we go. Nice. We, we got reason to drift, I guess. How's this guy caught up to me? Was it that bad of a crash? Come on. Oh, God. Oh. The funny flippity flop spoiler is, is, is a lot of fun. <laughs> Speeds. I like the nitrous. It's chaotic. It doesn't really match anything, but it's good. The car itself isn't wild to drive, but I like that it's wide body Zen Bug, right? I will say the wide body on this looks clean. Like it doesn't look out of place at all. It looks like a very well done wide body Zen Bug. So as far as points for that go. Oh god, that's not what I meant to do! <laughs> That's not what I meant to do at all. The fact that they've done the spoiler is nice. The fact that they've that they've bothered putting that in, good. I'm glad. I mean, obviously, they'd, they'd have to. If this thing didn't have that spoiler, it would be a shame. And the big thing is, is that obviously now, over, uh, I guess, two months from now, we're going to be getting the Zenvo, but it's going to be Shmi's Zenvo. So it's the specific one, and the license plate is his specific one with the Shmi UK license plate. I actually saw that car in real life the other day. Okay, you know what? Now I kind of want to get the Jim Carter meter full now that it's on my screen. Is it going to give me that? Okay, I didn't know how much it gave me for ground spin there, but that was a. Come here, come here, no! Don't do it! Let me.
we win? We could actually max out a Jim Carter meter in an event. Look, you know what? These these modifiers that they let us put on, I'm glad they're here because they 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 add a little bit to the game. Come on, precision strike. Lovely. Because, like, dirty driving is one you can actually do, and you- Oh, God! Am I gonna lose? Damn, that jump really added a bunch, but I need to catch up. He's gonna win! Excuse me, don't mind me. This thing's quick. Oh, God, no! 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 <laughs> Wait, no! Oh, no! I was- Oh! No! That was karma! I, oh, I got the clean, I got the Jim Carter bonus, but I'm gonna lose. He's way too far ahead and I've got no nitrous. Wait, I'm gaining. I'm gaining. I'm gaining. There we go. God, that was close. I didn't think I would win that, but we did in the end. Damn. Damn. Okay, that was all right though. We, we, we barely won. I want to have some more fun with this car though. This thing's, this thing's nutty. Let's see if this thing can fly. There's a simple way to find out if this thing can fly. Oh god, it's not it's doing it upside it down, I'll tell you that happens. much. What a what a oddly specific area to be jumping off of. God damn it. How? How? How is that doing that? Okay, what if I there we go. Now, pick up some speed. I don't want to use up too much of my nitrous because I'm gonna need it for the jump. Not a lot of speed to have, but oh well, this thing can indeed fly. <laughs> <laughs> Jesus, we made it. Oh. And we and we parked. Huh. Put this on like BCC trolling or something. That was actually really clean. We just we just parked up from flying off the mountain. <laughs> Let me just try and cruise, you know, cuz I don't I don't really get a car like this. Look, I had a discussion the other day. Someone asked me my dream car and I was like an Alpine A110. And they were like, "Oh, okay." But you know, a dream car should be something a bit more wild a bit more out there a bit more crazy and i don't get that i don't look if i was offered a zenvo or oh, like i don't get having my dream car be a zenvo or a chiron or a lamborghini because who the hell is paying the road tax on that who's paying the insurance on that i wouldn't want those cars i'd rather the 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 the, the, the money from those cars if anything if, if anything, the reason I want an Alpine A110 is because it's good on price, it's good on uh, so many different things. It's good, it's 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 light, it's practical, tech no, I mean it's only a two-seater, but it's practical in the sense of, you know, it's it works on UK roads, it's not a boat, it's not a massive SUV. I I want a an Alpine A110 because that's the car I desire. I don't get having insane hypercars as your dream car. That just never Sat right with me. So I don't really get the hype of a car like this, I will say. I oh, would much prefer something that a bunch of people do ask for in racing games. It's just more chill cars, more light cars. Like like Forza basically, where they have just more ratty cars. Just 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 absolute shit boxes. That is some kind of stuff that I would want, honestly. But I understand it. Look, I, I understand having these wild cars like the Zenvo and the and the, the Pagani Utopia. Because some people do have these pretty high. And then, to be fair, they do add some of the more slightly air cars like the Integra, right? It's still a pretty hyped car. It's a JDM car or whatever. But it's not as over-the-top hyper car as something like the Zenvo, I will say. How do I get into this place? How do I? There we go. Let's drive in. I love cruising around the areas on the map that aren't, like, roads. Especially in Honolulu. Just driving around these little areas here and there. There's something about them. There's, there's detail. But that's gonna be about it for me and the Zenvo. But first, we have to put it on the pedometer. Almost forgot that that's what this, uh, that almost forgot that that's what this was, honestly. And here is the pedometer, where we have the baddest, which is the best of the best. We have bad, which is pretty good. We have meh, we have bad, but, but actually, and, and the baddest, but, uh, but, a but actually. And this is where we left off. We have the Utopia, the IDR, we have the Supra, we have the Quattro and the Contash. This thing, I think, is going to be the first ever car to christen itself in BAM. It's pretty good. It's hype. I like it. But it doesn't just, it doesn't tickle that fancy of, like, being top of the top. It's like, 
It's like almost there. It's just nothing really is getting me. Like the wide body is well done, but it's not crazy. The customization is well done, but it's not crazy. The two-tone is nice, but it's not crazy. The wing is cool. The wing is really cool. But I don't think the wing alone is getting it in the baddest because that's a must. If they didn't have the wing, it'd be in bad, but actually. But because it does, it's not going to put it up too much, you know. It's just the bare minimum. So it's there. So I think that's where I'm putting it on bad. So let me know down there where you would put this car on the pedometer. We'll see you boys in the next one in a... I said in a bit instead of in a bad. Bad.